Hey guys, Josh from Sportitude here, and today we are doing a shoe review, and we're doing a shoe review on the New Balance 880 Fresh Foam version 10. And there is a lot to get through here, okay? We're talking new outsole, new midsole, and a new upper altogether. What I'll do is I'll compare it to the previous version 9, show you where New Balance have executed their changes, and literally there is changes across all three aspects. So um, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So first things first, let's profile the runner that should be considering this shoe, okay? So it is classified as a mileage shoe. There is a lot of cushioning in this shoe, now, now more so than ever too with the new Fresh Foam technology. So it's a runner that's doing plenty of Ks, plenty of hours out in the road, maybe doesn't like the softness of the 1080. Now my, me personally, I really enjoy the 1080, the new Fresh Foam X midsole and the new version 10 is fantastic. This shoe here, it certainly feels very soft on the foot, but it is a slightly more responsive midsole, okay? So there's not all the runners out there want really, really soft cushioning. Some want that mixture of softness and responsiveness, and that's where this shoe enters the market for New Balance. So the foot type that we're gonna put inside the New Balance 880 version 10, we're looking at a neutral foot type, okay? So this is a static sort of example of what a neutral foot type looks like. We've got a high arch in the medial side through here sits up a wee bit more through the navicular region, and when they go through their transition to the gait cycle, so heel strike to mid starts, the majority of the pressure is on the outside of the foot, or, like the word, neutral through the center part as you go through to your toe-off transition. However, like I have said previously with stable neutral shoes, there is some successful scenarios out there where a foot type that ever so slightly pronates through mid starts Splays out in the arch that doesn't like the arch support of some of the running shoes out there. We've had some success putting them in a stable neutral shoe, and I have profiled the we here at Sportitude, pardon me, have profiled the 880 to be a stable neutral shoe. With all my shoe reviews, what I like to do is I start from the ground and we work our way up. So let's talk all things outsole first. So version 10, fresh frame in my hand here. Compare it to the version 9. Now, execution-wise, you can obviously see change. There is change that's happened with this outsole. However, it's only minor. So what they've done, New Balance here, is you've got the crash pad on the version 9, which is sort of strategically placed underneath that heel. Harder wearing rubber because for heel strikers that come down to hit the ground, they hit the ground with a little bit more impact force than what you would expect from a midfoot to forefoot runner. So the rubber at the base of the heel for heel strikers needs to be a stronger hold, and that's what it is here for the version 9 and the version 10. Okay, so you can see how it's sort of cut away on the lateral side of the heel to dampen that impact in the first point of contact with the ground. As you can see, the shoe itself, full ground contact, full ground contact, so they haven't taken any outsole away and put in some thermoplastic beams to split the heel and the midfoot, which is what sort of running shoes had done previously. We're seeing a lot more of this full ground contact execution across, um, across all brands. And as you're coming through to the forefoot, the version 9 here, you can see there's two noticeable flex grooves that run from the medial side of the shoe through to the lateral side of the shoe to provide some support, but also a little bit of flexibility through toe off. And as you hold up the version 10 through here, we've got one, two as well. However, they slightly change the execution of where they start and finish on the medial and lateral side, as well as throwing in a little bit of a slip which runs a vertical line through here, okay? So that there just provides a little bit of extra flexibility on toe off, all right? So not a huge change um, through mid to toe off in the version 10. However, just how they've placed that outsole on the fresh foam midsole, it's gonna be a little bit more flexible, which is a nice change for this shoe. As we come through to the midsole, there has been no change in the stack height from the version 9 to the version 10. We're going with a 10mm heel to toe drop. 10 millimeters, which is kind of about normal for the majority of uh, mileage shoes out there. Some brands drop to 8 and 6. Um, there's a lot of obviously zero drop shoes out there as well, but the majority of standard running shoes, 8, 10s or 12s, is, is pretty, uh, pretty normal for what we see in a heel to toe offset. The midsole itself, is the new Fresh Foam X, but with a little bit of assistance with just some uh, additional responsive foam that New Balance have used through the four foot three here, okay? So unlike the, uh, blah, blah, the 1080, version 10 from New Balance, which is Fresh Foam the whole way through, this is what I would classify as probably 90, 90 to 95% Fresh Foam with a little bit of assistance through that four foot. Now the reason they've done, is, done that is, is because they don't want it to be too soft. It'd be too much like the 1080 if it was 
all fresh foam. So having a little bit of extra layering of a traditional uh, sort of EVA midsole on top there, which give a bit more pop on that toe off, okay? Um, as you're coming through, um, it's from sort of your contact point at the back, how they've sort of cut away the fresh foam uh, midsole on the medial and lateral side. Like they've done with some of their fresh foam shoes previously, you've sort of got a convex and a concave setup. So concave on the lateral side, bigger dimples, which is obviously designed to take a bit more dampening. On the medial side through here, sort of a convex setup in regards to uh, executing the dimples to pop out a little bit to give a little bit of extra compression rate on that medial side. Not archer port, just it'll compress um, slightly differently than what it will on their lateral side. So soft on the lateral side, slightly firm on the medial side. That's essentially how they've executed the midsole. As we come through to the upper, we've got the new hyper knit through the forefoot. A really nice take on a knitted upper. Breathable, strong, holds really well, enough wriggle room through that toe box area. Um, there has been some 880s previously that I found that um, my toes probably have a little bit too much space. They executed it a little bit better on the version 9. And the version 10 just fits a wee bit shallower through that forefoot. Not to the point where you're going to have to change widths or sizes. You just notice it if you're an 880 wearer to be a little bit of a firmer fit through the forefoot. Which is kind of a good thing because the hyper knit has a little bit of extra wriggle room too. Because it's a slightly more pliable upper through that forefoot. Coming through to the mid starts, we're talking about a structure and design that's going to give that, oh, that mid part of your foot through mid starts a nice structural hold. You don't be falling off the platform through mid stance. So execution wise on the knit and how it's tightly woven through there is nice, very strong, great hold. As you're coming through to the heel counter, we've got a combination of an internal heel counter and external heel counter as well. So the external heel counter is this big plastic beam that runs around the outside of the shoe. So it just helps cradling that foot in at a little bit more, a bit more support. So when the foot comes down on point of contact with the ground, obviously keeping that heel nice and stable, so then we don't have any inconsistency as we come through mid-start. So first point in contact, want to be nice and stable, not only from the execution of the outsole and midsole from the ground up, but as you're coming through here, the execution on the structure of the heel count is pivotal in keeping the foot nice and stable as it comes through to mid to toe off. So that little external heel counter looks like it's um, obviously quite strong, which it is, it's gonna provide a little bit more stability through the back half of the shoe. Other thing I'd like to point out is, um, no different than the previous 880s, if you are an orthotic wearer, you could consider this shoe. It's nice and deep through this heel counter region through here, so depending on the heel wedge of your orthotic, you're going to get a bit of extra variability with regards to what orthotic you can use inside this shoe. Now obviously, um, I would always encourage you to, to reach out to your podiatrist who's, who's manufactured your orthotics or, or cast your orthotics, and make sure you cross that off with them. As long as you're using this last little eyelet and, and doing a heel lock lace to keep that nice and stable, you should be absolutely fine. All right, now let's talk about the widths in this shoe. Now there's a lot to talk about here. There's three widths in both men's and women's, which is fantastic. So let's start off with the women's first. We're gonna start with a B, which is a standard width. Then we've got the D, slightly wider, and they offer a 2E, which is phenomenal. There's not a lot of neutral shoes out there that come in a 2E in ladies, and the 880 is one of them. So kudos to New Balance, well played there. With the men's, we've got a standard D, then we go 2E, and then we have 4E, so three widths again. So going to the wide, 4E, 2E, a little bit of wider, and then the D being a standard. So again, I really, really harp on this a lot, but when New Balance are executing widths in their running shoes, or any brand executing widths in their running shoes, it means they care. They back the engineering of their shoe, and the more foot shapes can fit inside that shoe, the better. Awesome. So there you have it, guys. The New Balance 880 version 10 Fresh Foam. Fantastic update, love what they've done. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, hit the subscription button below. If you've got any comments, any questions, any queries about this shoot or anything else that um, you'd like me to talk about, please add a comment in this video below. Um, yeah, and I suppose until next time, happy running. We'll see you soon.